Today I'm going to give you an overview of a typical DE filter that you would find in your backyard. And the good thing about the DE filter is that they filter down to 5 microns or less, so they have the best filtration of all the filters on the market. So basically the filter media, like diatomaceous earth, will coat the grids and that will trap the dirt and algae on the grids and allow water to pass through. Stick the DE on the filter grid and the water will pass right through. And let me get the bolt off here and I'll show you the top manifold type DE filter which is very common. Jandy, Hayward, and Pentair all make this one. So all three of the major manufacturers use the same design in the top manifold filter. Pentair, Hayward, and Jandy you'll find this exact manifold on top and then eight grids in a circle with one partial grid. I have videos on my channel covering cleaning individual filters and I have a playlist on the filters and backwashing also. So depending on your area, the size of your pool and the usage, you want to clean your deep filter at least twice a year, every six months. Another benefit of a deep filter is that you can backwash it in between taking it apart and cleaning it, which also helps increase filter efficiency. And some of these filters may have an alternate backwash valve that looks like this. It's a multi-port backwash. So in between cleans, you can do a backwash of the filter by opening up the backwash valve. Usually it will go to a key trap in the sewer. So that's a great way to keep your pool circulating in between filter cleans. I'm getting a little stiff. So when you backwash the D filter, flow is reversed. You see the grids expanding with water. The flow of water actually goes inside the grids. And you can see the grids all swelling up with water. That's how the backwash process works, just to push all the dirt and D off of it. But this also weakens the grids, so the more you backwash, the more likely the grids will wear out also. And if you have any trouble getting the lid back on, or if there's a leak after you put the clamp on, chances are the O-ring is no good, it needs to be replaced. I usually lube it up with silicone lubricant. This will extend the life of the O-ring. I found that it gets about twice the lifespan. So proper maintenance and cleaning of your D-filter is key to good circulation and clear pool. So it should take you about 20 or 30 minutes to clean your D-filter thoroughly. Good time-saving tool is the multi-torque socket set. So for your typical DE filter, when the pressure rises 10 psi, so if it's at 20 and it goes to 30, you're going to either need to backwash the filter or take it apart completely and clean it depending on how long it has been since you've taken the filter apart. You can see the psi is about 20 here on the clean filter. When it gets to 30, I'll have to backwash the filter or take it apart completely depending on when the last time I cleaned the filter was. I went ahead and marked it here, and I know this is when I cleaned it. And every six months I take these apart and clean them with backwashing in between. And here's a Pentair 4000 series filter. It's actually my favorite D filter because it splits in the middle. You can actually take the grids out individually and clean them. Put them back in really easy. You can see the bottom has a manifold on there. So it's a really easy filter to work with. And here's a common filter I find on my rats. 2000 series by Pentair. They also make a 4000 series and the inside is basically the same. And Pentair makes a quad DE filter. It's a cartridge style filter that actually holds DE. The cartridges are made out of a similar material that you would find in a DE grid. This is actually a more compact filter with a higher efficiency than a regular DE filter. And Stayrite makes the System 3 DE filter with these type of grids in them. If you have an older filter, an old Anthony filter, you also have this type of grid. They're both DE filters but with a different grid type. Hayward makes what's referred to as a bump filter. You actually have this handle on here that you move up and down and that bumps the DE around. It loosens it. Occasionally you have to drain some of the DE out and replace it with fresh DE, but mainly you just bump the DE around in this type of filter. If you take your lid off your filter and you see these things in here, it means you have a cartridge filter and not a DE filter.
And if you thoroughly clean your D-filter, put it back together, charge it up, and then two weeks later the pressure rises, 10 PSI on the gauge, then more than likely the grids are just old and you need to be re they need to be replaced. Now if you do have algae in your pool, you may have to take your D-filter apart a few times because the algae clogs the grids really quickly. So if there's no algae present in your pool and the pressure goes up pretty quickly after cleaning or backwashing, then definitely the grids are probably going bad. So the D grids are made to be very durable, made out of hard plastic. Sometimes these will actually break, but usually intact. They're long lasting. The only thing that wears out is the cloth around the grid itself. In the process of cleaning this filter, I found a grid that has a pretty big tear in it. So this tear is causing some DE to get back in the pool. That's why the pool doesn't look too good. A little bit on the cloudy side. And so simply replacing the grid will fix any kind of DE leak in your pool. And the plastic part that goes in the top manifold also tends to snap off as they get old. So besides the grids having rips or holes in them, the top manifold can also have a crack like this. In this case, it has to be replaced. DE is definitely going to leak in the pool. If you have a 4000 or 2000 series, the bottom manifold can also have a crack like this. And you saw this clip earlier, I had trouble closing this backwash down. Usually the O-rings inside are worn in that case. Sometimes the backwash piston has to be replaced entirely. And if you have this type of backwash, the handle can become stiff and you won't be able to turn it. It could also be leaking water while it's in the filter position. And I highly recommend using an Aladdin D scoop. You can see this one's pretty worn out. I'm probably going to have to get a new one soon. Currently I'm switching all my D filters over to the Paralyte filter element. So with the Paralyte you'd use about half the amount that you'd use for DE. And I also have a separate video on my channel that covers the Paralyte filter element. Whenever you charge the DE filter up, you want to also check the return line, make sure nothing is coming back into the pool. That means that there might be a leak for the manifold or one of the grids. So just stand by the return line for a minute and see if you see any of the filter element coming out. It'll be pretty obvious. This pool here, there's no leak. So whether you use the diatomaceous earth or the paralyte in your filter or any alternate filter media, you just got to make sure that the filter is charged thoroughly or they run efficiently. So having too much or too little filter element can affect the filtration of the pool. And whether you're using DE or the Paralyte, you want to definitely wear a mask and goggles. You don't want to get any of this in your lungs. So I hope you found the overview of the DE filters helpful today.